Welcome to the YoungEaglesDay.com website. This video will walk you through on how to sign up to be either a Young Eagle coordinator, a Young Eagle pilot, or an event helper for an event. So let's go ahead and get to the website. You can get to this website by either typing in yedaY.org or YoungEaglesDay.com. To be able to volunteer for a Young Eagles event, go over here to the top right under Sign Up and click Sign Up. When you do that, you'll be asked for information that you need to put in. And at this point, I'll go ahead and put it in and be right back. I'm back and the form is now filled in. For you first start out with your name, put your first name and last name, the email address, and make sure this is correct. Uh, without that, you will not get any email notifications. You will then be asked for a password. Password is a minimum of six characters, including an upper and lower case and a number to be valid. Then your mailing address, city, state, and your zip code, phone number, your chapter type, in which it could be an EA chapter or an IMC chapter, and a chapter number. This is very important because this will tell you which chapter you belong to. And then your EAA number, if you are either a young coordinator or a pilot, is required. And then if you're a pilot, you check this box. If you're a coordinator and a pilot, you check that box. When you select the young Eagle pilot, you will get some additional information you'll have to put in. For example, I'll put in uh, November 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's a Cessna 152, and it's got one seat. And optionally, you can put in your useful load. So my useful load for just young eagles would be 200 pounds. At the end, there is some legal information you have to review and just check I acknowledge the terms and then submit. At that point you get this screen. If you notice that we are not able to find your EA national membership. The reason for this is one of two things. Either you misspelt your last name or you put in your EAA national membership number incor incorrectly. You should go back, use the back button, and make sure that their last name and the EA number are correct. If you do not get this message, you will get a successful message that you signed up. At this point, click on the home page, and then you will see a login function on the top right corner. At that point, you can go ahead and put your user ID and your password in and log in. This completes the user sign up process. Thank you.